Melech Elion on page 155 is a most interesting piyut and poetry that establishes again the sovereignty of God, but there's no mention any human qualities. It's all about God and has a refrain, Le'ade ad imloch, will you you will rule forever and ever, Melech Elion, a sovereign on high. This piyut, which is quite extensive, um, appears in the Musaf service in traditional Machsorim before Unetane Tokev. In our conservative Machsor Lev Shalem, immediately after Unetane Tokev. There is a moment in which we begin by opening the ark, but there is a moment in which we close the ark and we reopen it. Um, and that is when we are not referring to God, we're referring to earth, we're referring to others, but not God. We reopen and we say by the sovereign on high, God is eternal, God is glorious forever, and God is just forever, and God will rule forever. So we will go back to that um, expressions of our admiration for God, then we reopen the ark at the very end. Again, no human concern is brought into dispute, the spirit was quite large, it was shortened later for reasons of time, I believe, um, but really in the traditional sense has at least three or four pages, I think. Yeah, yeah, two and a half uh, pages. But we here have kind of uh, uh, put in a shorter version. And again, um, is uh, a great for meditation about God's sovereignty and God's place in our lives is the last of the PU team of the Musaf service on Rosh Hashanah.